What's up, family? This is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. Listen, I have a question for you. Who's on your Christmas list? I know you probably got the kids on there. You got your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your significant other. I know you got that uncle, that auntie, that picky sister, or that brother that may or may not show up and you get them a gift anyway, some socks or some gloves or something because it's cold outside. Whatever the case, who's on your Christmas list? If your family is like mine, we don't really, as adults, exchange gifts much. We always buy for one another's kids. And so I'll give gifts to my, my sister's kids and she'll give a gift to my daughter. My sister and I really don't exchange gifts much unless it's like a funny gift or something like that. But who's on your Christmas list? Whatever the case, who's on your Christmas list? Folks at the office, whatever. I hope and I pray that you are on your Christmas list. That's right. You need to make sure that you give yourself a gift. And I have three gift ideas for your Christmas this year. The first gift you ought to give yourself is a gift of rest. Get some rest. Take a break and relax. I don't know what your work schedule is. If you are a nurse and you work three days on, four days off, or if you're a school administrator and you have some, a long Christmas break off where you don't have to go to the school or teacher or whatever. I don't know what your schedule is. Maybe you work retail and you just get Christmas Day off or you have to go in Christmas Day. Whatever the case, find yourself some time during this Christmas holiday to rest. Watch a movie, drink some coffee, have some tea, eat some ice cream, or some popcorn, sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing. God rested and so do you need to rest. Another gift you can give yourself is a gift of grace. Grace. That means be easy on yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. We are our own worst critics. In fact, you all take a vacation from criticizing yourself during this Christmas holiday. Not only criticizing yourself, but criticizing other people too. Just take a vacation from that. If the macaroni and cheese is dry and it used to be, oh, well, they're going to eat it anyway. If the kid doesn't like the gift they open up, oh, well, they'll be all right. They ought to know that it's the thought that counts anyway. If you're thinking Bob is going to show up and Bob doesn't show up for Christmas dinner, so what? That's Bob's issue. It's not yours. Have a little grace. Give yourself some grace and give some other folks grace during this year. But make sure you give yourself some grace. If you get to the Christmas dinner and you see everybody's 10 pounds down and you're not 10 pounds down, oh well, you made it, it's been 12 months. Thank God that you made it this far. So give yourself some rest, give yourself some grace, and thirdly, give yourself a real gift, like a real gift. Go out and buy something, not necessarily that you need for yourself, but something that you just want. Don't treat everybody else good during the Christmas holiday and then half step on yourself. God didn't do that with you. God sent his best, his only begotten son to you so that you could have not only blessed Christmas, but eternal life. So treat yourself this Christmas with the gift, gift of rest, gift of grace, and then go out and buy yourself a real material gift. You'll be better for it. This is Pastor B with Tuesday's Touch. God bless you, God keep you. You have been touched.